Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Honey Badger and Squirrel. I'm your host, Honey Badger. And I'm your host, Squirrel. Alright guys, we got a special episode for you guys today. Special episode like always, right Squirrel? Oh yeah. We really enjoy doing these videos and and before we get started here, we want to thank all the people who reached out and bought merch. Awesome to you. Our first person who bought a sticker was Bryson. Good job. Congratulations, Bryson. Thank you for spending your money. Second person who went above and beyond and, and bought an, a tremendous amount of stickers was Eric. Eric, shout out to Eric. Made us super yes. excited. I appreciate it. I feel famous now because of you guys. The squirrels I get very sign happy. Autographs. And very excited, especially to sign autographs. That was a cool, <laughs> fun experience. <laughs> uh, and then we had Tony. Tony bought a sticker. That was awesome, Tony. Thank you very much. That money will go toward later episodes. Uh, those will be bonus episodes. It won't be the weekly videos. Oh, miss. Oh, miss. But we're going to do some fun things. We're trying to get together some games and stuff. We're working on that stuff. Just bear with us. It's coming. Uh, Trust and you'll us, get it's to coming. see some, some funner stuff throughout the week. Fun reactions. Fun reactions, apparently. <laughs> Haven't talked about that one, but it might be coming. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what time it is? What time is it? It's time for the, the joke, joke of, of the, the day. day. We're doing jokes first. Yeah, jokes. Uh, yeah. Squirrel, I got one for you. Yep. Why did the football coach go to the bank? Why? He had to get his quarterback. Wow, he went all the way to the bank just to get his quarterback. A, a quarterback? Do you know what a quarterback is? Yeah, I know what a quarterback is. What's a quarterback? It's a back of a quarter. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. How do you fix a broken pumpkin, Squirrel? How? Get a pumpkin patch. Get a... Those would be very expensive. How can it be hundreds of dollars? Get a pumpkin patch. Do you know what pumpkins grow in? A patch of pumpkins. That would be a, a really patch. expensive to buy a patch of pumpkins. Pumpkin. I mean, it might make him feel better, but pumpkin it won't patch, patch up his Okay. Yeah. Rules. Okay. Squirrel? Yep. Why did that man fall down that well? Why? He didn't see that well. He couldn't, he couldn't <laughs> see that well. Yeah, he couldn't see that well, so he tripped into a whale. Yeah. A well, yeah. not a whale. He couldn't see that well. Oh, uh, he couldn't see he couldn't see that well. Not he couldn't see that well. <laughs> I get it. Because he couldn't see that. I thought you were talking about he couldn't see that well, but he couldn't see that well. He couldn't see that well. Squirrel? Yeah? I was going to tell you a time traveling joke. What is it? Uh, you didn't like it. Okay. You, you didn't like it? Okay. Because I'm a time traveler? You get... what? Moving on. What do houses wear? What? A dress. Oh! A, a dress. Like an address. Yeah, an address. I actually did that one. Squirrel? Yeah. What musical instrument do you find in the bathroom besides your butt? What? A tuba toothpaste. Oh, a tuba toothpaste. A tuba. <laughs> A tube of... Tube of tooth. Tube <laughs> a tube, of a toothpaste. It's time what? for... The, the fun fact, fact of, of the, the day. day. Dun, dun, dun. And we have a special guest with us <laughs> for the fun fact of the day. Say cheese. 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 Say hi. Say hi. Honey oh. badger and squirrel. Oh. 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 Squirrel? Yup. Did you know that crocodiles can gallop like horses? What? They can even reach up to 11 miles per hour. Maybe. I know I could gallop like a crocodile. Yeah, could I? 
I'm pretty slow. <laughs> me too. Why are you hitting me? <laughs> Why are you hitting me? Is that funny? Alright, so, squirrel? What are you doing? Squirrel? Yep. In the 1620s, tulips were more expensive than gold. Reserved for only the richest of people. How cool is that? Huh. Let's, let's time travel and just get some tulips. Oh, well, they're not more expensive than gold now. I know, but let, oh. let, let, like, let's go get some tulips and then time travel and get some gold and then come back to oh, the present. Okay, and, I see. That's yeah. what you're saying. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> Squirrel? Yep. Did you know that tongues are like fingerprints? They're all unique. How crazy is that? Uh, uh. Squirrel. Yep. Did you know that shrimp's hearts are in their head? No, I didn't. Shrimp's hearts are, oh, wait. are in their head. Yeah, I did. Did you know that McDonald's... Squirrel. <laughs> yep. Did you know that McDonald's created the drive-thru for military service members because they couldn't wear their uniforms out in public? So they just... Knocked a hole in the wall and served right out the hole. Huh. So they wouldn't have to get out of their cars. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So we owe yet another thanks to the people in uniform. Squirrel. Yep. I think this is my fun fact favorite. Fun fact favorite. I, I think this is my fun fact favorite, Squirrel. Or known as FFF. FFF. This is my FFF. We will have a new segment called the FFF. F -F attention, F -F attention, the FFF. The fun fact favorite. Alfred Hitchcock, the guy who was in the Twilight Zone and wrote The Birds, you know, those really scary shows and movies. I don't, because I don't watch them. Yeah, and you're, you're a little young. But anyway, Alfred Hitchcock, a famous guy who wrote scary stories he was afraid of eggs <laughs> eggs eggs the guy was a the guy was afraid of eggs come on you're not afraid of come on other snakes. things snakes, snakes spiders, vampires zombies ghosts whatever you're not afraid eggs. of all those but eggs you're afraid of eggs thing. eggs but no so, hey but i think you're dead a bonus <laughs> fun <laughs> fact Willie Robertson from Doug Dynasty is afraid of cotton balls. Really? Cotton balls. Cotton we balls? love you, Willie. We love you. He oh, watches your man, podcast. That's... We also have you on a rug. Willie doesn't have a podcast. Oh, we watch you. And, on and a that's show. Phil that's on our rug. Oh, that's Phil. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. We also like Cy. Drink your tea. We like Cy. Uncle Cy, if you ever watch this, we like you. Yeah. All right. So, I do listen to Cy's podcast, which yeah. is pretty awesome. You should check it out. Pretty awesome. All right, Squirrel. Yep. It's time for our favorite segment. Yep. Are you ready? BVD. 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 Bible verse. BVD. Of B. Wait, B -B -O -D. Get it now on BVD. BVD. Alright, it's Bible time verse. for the Bible, Bible verse, verse of, of the, the day. day. The Bible verse of, of the, the day. day. This summer. Da, da, da. This summer. This summer. In Mark. In 10 2. 10 2. Through 5. Through 5. You should do that voice the whole time. Alright, guys. Here it is. Some of the Pharisees surrounded Jesus and they're trying to trick him. They're trying to get him in a place where uh, they corner him with his own word. The one that he inspired through the Holy Spirit, which is kind of odd, but they didn't know it was, that he was really God. Some of the Pharisees came and tested him by asking, is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? What did Moses command you, he replied. They said, Moses permitted a man to write a certificate of divorce and send her away. It was because of your hearts 
were hard that Moses wrote you this law, Jesus replied. Squirrel, mm -hmm. I actually wrote a paper on on this particular... What a paper? Yes, I actually wrote a paper on this one. And it was really interesting because it showed me something that, I, that I'd never seen before in the Word of God. That God deals with stuff that He never intended to happen. So, if you keep reading on in this little section here, it kind of goes a little more in detail. But basically, what's happening here is these Pharisees, who are super religious nuts, are cornering Jesus. And they're trying to trick him and, and get him to answer wrong. They're trying to find a flaw in Jesus. But, of course, Jesus burns them pretty good here. He ends up telling them that Moses wrote this certificate of divorce, not because that's what God had intended for in the beginning, but because of the man's heart and because sin entered the world. So what happened originally, Squirrel, is Adam and Eve ate from the tree that they weren't supposed to in the garden. And when that happened, sin entered the world. God never intended for sin to enter the world but he did have to deal with it. And he had a plan to deal with it. He sent his son Jesus to die for us. He has plans for stuff because this world is corrupt and this world is fallen. In this world, uh, there's a lot of pain and suffering and horribleness, um, such as divorce, you know? I think uh, most people have been either affected by divorce or know someone who's divorced so uh, everybody can kind of relate to this one it shows us that God is really um, prepared to deal with whatever the world has to throw at him even when the world looks like uh, it can't be explained or that God's not in control he really he really ultimately is but there are consequences to our actions as humans. So, um, this certificate of divorce was written because sin entered the world and, and God dealt with it, which is showing his true character. We can be really horrible sometimes as humans, but God meant to redeem us through Jesus. And right here, he's showing how he will deal with things that men have brought on their self. But Squirrel, that's not to make us sad or, or keep us down. We gotta keep pushing forward. Push! Yeah, keep pushing forward. Keep on pushing until you get that star. Yeah, keep on pushing until you get that star. It is from Mario Odyssey, but... Oh, okay, cool. Well, so, it wasn't from it. I just came up with it. Would you like push a spot like, to get like a moon? Oh, okay, cool. Tip, yeah. All right. There's a tip so, to find if one. anybody knows what she's talking about, awesome for Zaya, you. Zaya, you do. <laughs> Just make sure you get past the desert. Okay. <laughs> this shows us God's character and that he's going to deal with these things that are in the world that that he never intended for. And I thought that was very interesting. He put God in this position where he is below us and we try to judge him as bad. And that's not really our place, you know? Uh He's the judge of all things, and he will be the judge in the end. He's even the judges. He's even the judge of the judges. He's the judge of judges, mm -hmm. and the king of kings, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, and queens. And, and ultimately, God's the only one who can be a hundred percent fair. Mm -hmm. uh, and and with that comes a responsibility to make things right. Um, even when everybody else has done wrong, which is what God's showing here, you know, he really, um, he really wants us to know that, that there are things in this world that he never intended to happen, bad, horrible things, but he has overcome them and he has dealt with them each individually. So guys, next time something bad or horrible happens to you, just just know that you have a friend in God and, and he does have God a plan. A you got a friend, friend in God. Yeah. 
you got a friend in God. Okay. Yeah. Just know that he's there to back you up and and he has a plan. He has a plan and a design for your life even when it looks like absolute chaos. And Squirrel, this is a scary one. But he has a plan even if you get killed. Which is kind of a rough thing to think about. But he's got a plan for that. So not even death can can have its way with you because if you are a child of God and you believe in Christ who came to redeem you and give you back what the devil has stolen from mankind if you believe in that then you'll live eternally anyway so not even death has a hold on you uh, and you'll be forever by his side praising and worshiping him for all time so squirrel I think that about does for today. Um, it was really good to have you back this week. I really enjoy our time here together and I love you. And I want you to know that just like our Father in Heaven, when bad stuff happens to you in your life, I will always be there uh, in one way or the other. And if I'm not here, God will definitely take my place. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, squirrel. I think that about wraps us up. Yep. Bye, guys. Thank you for buying merch. Please like, subscribe, get that out there, share with a friend, get our merch, put those stickers up, tell somebody. We're trying to reach the world with the gospel. Yeah, we got, and we got, we got one of my friends. He's working at a store and telling people about us. So it's going all over hey. the world. We're going all over the world. Help uh, us get there, ooh, guys. Like Mr. Tell your all friends. Over the world. Push it. You know, give a little <laughs> push and nudge here and there. Hey, if don't, you watch Honey Badger Squirrel, hey, don't punch him in the face. Don't punch him in the face. That's not good. Nope. All right, guys. We love you guys, and we hope you get close to Jesus most of all. Yep. And we hope that this helps you. Uh, oh, and P.S. If, if you want to send in in the comments questions that you have about God or his character or anything like that just comment down below any questions that you got and we'll try to look at those and read those and answer those questions in future episodes yep. so that you guys can be a part of our show here honey badger and squirrel squirrel and comment down below shout out if you want it and remember okay, you got a friend out. in God you got, got a friend in God. God. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace. Peace. I'm, I'm out of here. here.